welcome back. So I was tagged for the positivity challenge. So let's do this. And this is our house guest, Miss Bailey. She was planning to spend next weekend with us while her owner moves. And she's such a little ray of sunshine that I decided to invite her a little early because we could use a little of that around here. I was tagged by Christy of Georgia Sunshine. And if you haven't checked out her channel, definitely stop by. I think I found her looking at unboxing videos, but I stick with her channel because I just love her positive attitude. And it's also been really fun to connect with someone else who has teenagers. When your kids are little and you're on the playground, you're connecting with other moms all the time. It gets a little harder when your kids are older and activities become more and more drop off and less and less mom waits outside. So I've really enjoyed her channel and I highly recommend you check it out. The first question on the challenge is probably the hardest. Three things that I'm good at. And for everything that I'm good at, there's this other voice in my head that says, but sometimes that's a drawback. As women, it is really challenging for us to toot our own horn, I guess. But let's do this. First thing I would say I'm good at is being patient. I got involved in mindfulness meditation while I was going through my divorce. And I found that it really made me a better parent to be able to pause before I react to things and not necessarily get caught into dramas. And I really feel that patience can be a superpower, especially as a parent. The second thing I'm good at is streamlining. I have a natural tendency to look at a whole situation and figure out the simplest way to get from point A to point B. I'm planning to show you how I do that with my meal planning system. Another thing I'm good at is finding the silver lining in life's little ups and downs. I had mentioned last week that my car was in the shop and we were afraid it might be a head gasket and I was feeling a little anxious. So I'm feeling a little, you know, whatever. But I really try to find little nuggets of what's great about any situation. I rented a car and there was this button on the CD player that said cat folder. And you have to know read. Actually, you've got, some of you guys do know read a little bit. He's the one in the background making the sarcastic comments. When I drove up, I called Reed. I called Reed down to the car. I'm like, Reed, help me figure out what this button is for. <laughs> And he goes, maybe you should push it and just see what it does. Just make sure there aren't any cats around. I thought it was hilarious. And I do think that finding the humor in those little situations really helps just get through life's little bumps. The second question is which YouTubers inspire you the most? And I do have to go with Amy Schmittauer as one of my current inspirations because I'm really enjoying her very straightforward advice about how to get started on YouTube. And most of you are probably already familiar with Amy Schmittauer, but if you're not, definitely check her out. And my next two favorite YouTubers, I'm going to have to give language warnings on both, which is probably a little, little, seems a little odd, but I love Cindy Gunter Baldo of Llamas Love Lettering. She does amazing lettering, but her videos are hilarious. And most letterers will only show you their projects that go really perfectly. And I love that she will sit down and walk you through the whole thing she's doing and how frustrated she gets with every little thing. And she has a system that she teaches for improving your handwriting and it's really helped me. More than just the system, it really is great to see someone who I'm looking at and thinking, she's just amazing at this. And to see her not be perfect every single time and not always be happy with what she's doing and to it's really encouraging to me to see that and remember thinking that I'm not perfect isn't a reason to stop working so she's a real inspiration in that way another youtuber that I've just found recently uh, that I'm weirdly in love with is C's beauty blog he's kind of a skincare product hoarder and he shares his opinions about all these different skincare products and I'm definitely reaching an age where um, what used to work doesn't work anymore. So it's really nice to have some new advice. But what I love about his channel and what's an inspiration to me in terms of my channel is he packs in a ton of information, yet his personality is right in there every step of the way. I'm really interested in what he's talking about. A part of me wishes I could just get it all put on a thumb drive and just put it in my brain somehow. But on the other hand, I'm having so much fun just with his personality and it's just been great so that's an inspiration to me 
to be comfortable injecting more of my personality into my videos, then it doesn't make informational videos less valid to have personality in them. The next question is three things I'm excited about. And in the very near future, what I'm excited about is that my daughter and I will go see the Washington National Opera perform Madame Butterfly. I don't think of myself as an opera person. I don't listen to opera. She's gotten some opera tickets through a music program. I've gone with her a few times and I've always been just amazed from, by the, just the beauty and the emotion of the sets, just the, the sets and the costumes. And I swear there could be no sound. I would just still be sitting there watching. The, the Washington National Opera is just amazing. It's just, everything's so beautiful. And the opera house is owned and it just makes the acoustics are so cool and just the way that the orchestra sounds and the singers sound and it's got these gorgeous chandeliers and it's just such an experience and it's just so much fun. Another thing I'm super excited about is that one of my cousins is getting married in Oregon over the summer and I haven't been to Oregon since I was really little. Looks like it's going to work out that we're going to get to meet my brothers. My brothers are going to be able to stay for a little while after the wedding so hopefully we're all going to get some time to hang out together and spend some time with my sister-in-law. It's just a lot of fun for my son to be able to spend some time with his uncles too. So it should be a great trip. I'm also looking forward to spending some time in the Berkshires over the summer. My daughter will be going to a music program up in the area for the third year in a row. So pretty up there. And I love to go hiking. And there's lots of little hikes I can take. And there's a yoga studio up there that I love. So. I'm looking forward to spending a little extra time up there when I go up for her concerts and stuff. So that'll be a lot of fun. The fourth question is what do I do to relax? I don't relax actually, but <laughs> the most important thing I would probably say for me is exercise. I just feel better when I exercise. There's a bar studio in my neighborhood. I have an unlimited pass there and I go four to five times a week there. If you've been watching my channel, you know I have a weekly hot yoga class that I love taking which is like taking a shower from the inside. It's just so great. You can go in with all kinds of garbage in your head and you walk out clean. It's amazing. And I also go to a, an indoor cycling class, which is a change of pace for me. And I'm actually really loving it. Yesterday I went and it's just great. You just leave everything on the bike. It's amazing. It's just so great and I just feel so great afterward. I also find it super relaxing to get a pedicure, which I haven't done for a while, so make me go do that. And the final question is who I'm tagging. I'd like to tag MomTown, who just goes by MomTown. She has a great and really personal channel in which she has shared her struggles with infertility and then with raising twins. And she's now moving into a more personal direction and it'll be fun to see where she goes with it. Sorry for the dog noises. <laughs>